Business Magazine, and I am here live at Vision Expo East in New York City, and I am in the brand new, gorgeous, made from a, born from a barn booth with repurposed wood in, at the Costa booth here at Vision Expo, and I am, cool, huh? it's so, so cool. cool, I like love this booth, yeah. it's awesome, from a barn in Virginia, it's just, you know, yeah, like the Costa brand is rich in like flavor, and like in this, this booth is it's rich, right? And flavor, and yeah, texture, and story. It's so cool, right? It's, it's like awesome. sitting in like it's like sitting in a barn while you're working. It's super cozy. It's amazing. Yes, well, everything in here is so cool. So, and I'm here with the. I'm actually very honored to be oh. here with the incredible Chris Fisher. And can you just tell us a little bit about O Search? Sure. And what you do, and he. Like plays with great white sharks. Yeah, I mean, Osurge was really founded and really born on the water, much like Costa, and emerging out of the recreational fishing world and people who love to be on the water. And we started to see that we lacked the fundamental information of our giant sharks in the water. Where were they mating? Where were they giving birth? Where did they migrate? And it turns out that these giant sharks, they're the lions of the ocean, they're the balance keepers. So if we can get our giant sharks moving in the right direction, then we have maximum abundance in the ocean, maximum amount of fish for our grandchildren to eat. But they were so big, the scientists had never been able to study them alive and let them go alive. So we didn't know where they were mating. We didn't know where they were giving birth. And this is like fundamental data required to move the system toward abundance. And so in 2007, you know, we became aware we're losing about a quarter million sharks a day. A hundred million sharks a year for shark fin soup. And so in the midst of getting down now to like 10% of our large apex predator, it became more and more urgent to figure out where our large sharks were mating and birthing so we could help manage them back to abundance so that we had lots of fish for our grandchildren to eat. Because if we lose the big sharks, there will be no fish to eat. They are the lion, the wolf, the balance keeper. And so they were so big, the scientists couldn't capture them and study them. A scientist is intern. They're not going to capture a 4,000 pound great white shark. You need some salty people for that. <laughs> you know, you need full time watermen. And so, what we did is we brought the world class practical knowledge of watermen that are on the water every day together with the world class academic to explode research forward on our large apex predators so our great grandkids can eat a fish sandwich. Love that. It's pretty much that. That's serious. And then the trick was, you know, how do you fund it? You know? Right. And so what we really focused on in the era of like what we're doing now, content creation, brand integration, is creating scale and building an enterprise that made it worth it for companies that want to make business and do good at the same time. Costa, right? See what's out there. They realize that if there's not fish in the ocean for people to see in the future, less people are going to need their product. Sure. So their whole strategy is like make a world-class product and create an abundant future for the planet. So there's lots of people that want to go see what's out there. Absolutely. Right? It's kind of a no-brainer, right? No-brainer. Anybody in this business should be trying to create an abundant future for the planet so people can need to go see it. Yes. So <laughs> and so Costa gets it. They've been funding our work for 10 years. Ten it's crazy, Ten since years. the beginning. That's amazing. So you've yeah. been going for 10 years. O-Search has been going for 10 years. I've been on the water work in 20 years. O-Search has been on work in 10 years. It must be longer than 10 years now with Costa. It's been yeah. a long time. They've been there since the beginning. This company is, I'm just going constantly impressed. Yeah. No, they make business and do good at the same time. Exactly. That's what it's all about. That's their branding strategy. Yes, it is. It's yeah. a great one yeah. for, for on so many levels. So, and you obviously wear coastals, so you have a pair of Living on. in coastals, you know, when you're on the ocean and you do the work like we do, sometimes we'll fish for 20 days to capture one great white shark for 20 different scientists. And in their career, they will have never been able to study a live mature animal. And so, when you have like one shot like that, if you don't see it and you miss it, it's over. So we've been on the water working and we have always had coasters because we look at it like equipment. Like you want the best equipment possible so that you can maximize every opportunity that the ocean gives you. And so, you know, we know when we're working with coasters, and particularly on the ocean, that we're going to see it's, it's the best product in the world for seeing on the water. Yeah, and then when they went to the prescription side, now we have our prescription sunglasses and the optics, and I do, I wear prescription sunglasses. So it's just a game changer for us. I mean, 
it's one of the most important tools. We have ships, we have boats, we have our coasters. You know, if you don't have your fish, you don't have your boat. You can't convert. And sometimes you get one chance. And if you don't see it, it's over. Yeah. So that's why we use this. We always have it. Always work. What's kind of one of your favorite pairs right now? We're in the Corvinas, the Cut. You know, what's really cool is this summer, uh, Coast is coming out with a whole line of O Search sunglasses. I just saw that. And people, morning. yeah, so people can buy the O Search frames, which are based on like shark ideas and shark patterns. And then a big percentage of every purchase actually funds the research. So they're giving people an opportunity to be a part of it and also get a badass pair of sunglasses. I think this pair, is it here that they're doing kind of like a summer to go on your expedition? Yeah, all the people who come by the booth here can register and then we have an expedition in New York where we're catching baby white sharks. We found the birthing site of the North Atlantic white shark last August and it's right here in Long Island. Right Southampton to Montauk, the New York, New Jersey bite. And so we'll have the ship back up here capturing more young of the year baby white sharks in August. And someone here who's coming by the coastal booth is going to get to come out and join us for a while. Wow, that is cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. And so I also saw this morning an app that you, yeah. you can actually go and look at where these sharks, the sharks are tagged, where they're at currently in real time. Yeah. What's the app called? Music. The music <laughs> Rich Ortiz is laying it down, huh? <laughs> Right in the coast of it. Yeah, so we have the Global Shark Tracker app, right? And so what I was trying to do in 2012, I was trying to find a way to just allow everyone to be included. And it's like, how cool is it to track the sharks? And so it used to be that the scientists would do this work in a vacuum, you know, and no one would know. And I'm like, oh man, we need everybody to know. So we open sourced the tracking in the Global Shark Tracker. So you can go to osearch.org or you can download the free iPhone or Droid apps. And you can track the great white sharks at the same time as the scientists. And so you can track Miss Costa the shark. You can track Mary Lee the shark, Catherine, Lydia. You can tweet these sharks. Mary Lee the shark has over 100,000 Twitter followers. Miss Costa, she has a bunch of Twitter followers. Lydia has some. So there's so many ways for people to engage and become a part of maybe the most charismatic research project, certainly of our time. I mean, we're solving the life history puzzle of Jaws. Where was Jaws born? Where did Jaws mate? Where did Jaws migrate? And we're replacing all that fear of the unknown with like the first real science and data. So it's good for helping everyone understand as these giant sharks go, the whole system goes. And uh, it's cool to build an enterprise that makes it worth it for companies to create an abundant future for the planet. Yeah. Because they got, this, they got the capacity and scale. Absolutely. And to see the thought leading companies, the early adopters, the visionary companies that see it first. Yeah. You know, the companies like Yeti, the companies like Costa, right. that are like, oh man, you know, we make products for people to use on the planet. Let's make sure there's a robust planet for people to use our stuff. That's part of our sure. program. I mean, if we can get all the companies doing it, right. that is how we will create an abundant future for our great grandchildren. Yeah. And so that's really what's going on in Ocean. Yeah, we're solving the life history puzzle of great white sharks. It's fundamentally crucial, you know, to make sure our great grandchildren can eat a fish sandwich. <laughs> Uh, but what's really happening at those search is we're proving that you can build an enterprise and make it worth it for socially innovative companies to brand themselves and create a future for the planet. And that's an efficient buy. No doubt. And the fact that Costa has saw that 10 years ago yeah. is pretty special. Yeah, thought leaders, right? I mean, they saw an early adopter. Um, they, it's because the people who actually started this business, it was born on the water. So the people who actually started making the product loved the water. So it was about making the perfect product to use where they loved it. And so that love of the water and wanting to create a future for it has been in their roots since the very, very beginning. And so now as they grow and have more capacity, they can enable more good and more impact. So it's cool to be a part of it. Just give them, I'm just trying to give them a vehicle. <laughs> So, and one more last question for you, and I have to ask this, because you're dealing with sharks on your expedition, because you're dealing with great whites, have you ever had a close call, a close yeah. encounter with a shark? What's the scariest thing out there? 
every year. So we've never had a close call with sharks. Um, you know, we're very methodical. It's the same team doing the same. We've tagged over 300 sharks around the world, over 100 great whites. Um, the biggest challenge we deal with is weather. You know, the weather on the ocean is all powerful. I mean, she is in charge. And so we just try to listen to her. When she says that uh, there's bad weather, we just, we just don't work. And when she says good weather, go there, we listen and we move. And really, I, I try to explain it to people. We just try to be a prepared, grateful recipient for any opportunity she provides. And listen, listen closely to her. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking yeah, the time to chat with us. I appreciate it. Anytime. Looking forward to watching more of what you're going to do in the future. Yeah, thanks for telling the story of what Coast is doing. They're making business and doing good at the same time. We're just lucky enough to, to be the tool that can go. You know, it's a privilege to serve the ocean. It's a privilege to serve scientists. It's a privilege to serve future generations. But you got to pay for it. And when companies step up to pay for it, it's a cool thing. Fantastic. Well, thank you again. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you for joining us.